that we have our case open, let's talk about putting cork grease onto our instrument. So first things first, I'm going to grab my cork grease. Remember, it looks like a tube of chapstick, but we're not going to put this on our lips. I'm going to take off our cap, and I'm just going to put it into the case. We're going to unscrew it a little bit. Now I'm going to grab every part of the instrument that has a cork, one at a time. So let's start with our bottom joint right here. And again, remember, when you're holding onto it, try not to hold onto where all the keys are. I'm going to hold it down here just enough, not too firm. And I'm going to get my cork grease, and I'm going to put a very thin layer of cork grease all around the cork. So what we're looking for is thin because if we get it too chunky and like clumped together when we put the actual pieces together it's going to kind of clump up and it's going to get dirty and we just don't want that on our instrument. So put a very thin layer and if you see, if you see it clumped up a little bit what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my fingers and I'm going to kind of massage it into the cork just all around. This will also help if you missed any spots, you're just kind of getting every surface area of it. And now we have some excess cork grease on our fingers, and we don't want to get that everywhere. So what I'm going to do is I like to keep a piece of uh, paper towel in my case, and I'm just going to kind of wipe my fingers off just to clean them up. So now that we got cork grease on that ready to go, I'm going to place it back into my case carefully. I'm going to grab the next piece. Now we've got our upper joint. Do the same kind of deal. Put cork grease on it. Thin layer, remember, all the way around. And if it starts to get low, just kind of open it up a little more. This process should not take super long. We're just kind of getting the corks ready to go to put together. And if I have any excess, again, remember, I'm going to massage it around, wipe off my fingers. Do the same thing on both sides. This is the only part of the instrument that has cork on either side. And on this part, we have one of these little paddles sticking up, and we're not going to be able to get cork grease right in there. But if we get it all the way around, it should be pretty good to go. Thin layer, all the way around, massage it in, and if you have corks that are relatively new or you just got it recorked or it's a brand new instrument, it's going to need cork grease pretty much every time you put it together until it gets used to being formed into the spots. Wipe off the fingers, place it back into the case, and then we have our last piece, our mouthpiece that needs a little bit of cork grease. Same thing, thin layer. If you have a brand new mouthpiece, it's going to take a while for it to start to form to the barrel, so you're going to need quite a bit of cork grease every time you put the instrument together. Massage it in. Wipe off the fingers. Place it back into the case. Now when you're done putting cork grease on, let me get your cap. You're going to lower this down as much as possible. Cap it back. Put it in the case. Wipe off your fingers again from any excess cork grease, and then you're ready to go to put the instrument together. Now that we've talked about taking each part of the instrument out of the case and put, putting cork grease on it, let's talk about assembling it. So, when we put it together, we're always going to start from the bottom and work our way to the top. So the part that goes on the very bottom is going to be the bell, and then we're going to go up to the lower joint. So I'm going to pick up the lower joint from where I told you, just around here, where the part that doesn't have keys. And when you put it in, you're going to not try and go in at an angle, you're going to go straight in and you're going to push down and twist to lock it into place. You want to make sure there's no gaps in between the cork like this, the cork and the bell. You want to just put it in all the way. After that we're going to get from the lower joint, we're going to go to the upper joint. Again I'm grabbing from the part that doesn't really have any keys on it. Now there's these two super important parts of the instrument that we have to line up when we put the lower and the upper joint together. And I'm going to give you a closer look right here. Let's take a closer look at lining up our bridge keys. So on the lower joint you have this key right here. This is the lower joint bridge key. And it kind of looks like a little spatula, right? On the upper joint we have kind of one under these keys on the top. Right here, this is the upper joint bridge key. And it kind of just is a straight little flat surface. Now when you do this, the upper joint bridge key needs to go over the lower joint bridge key over the little spatula looking one. So when you place it over and you're pushing down and in, you might want to lift up this key by pushing down these buttons right here when you're placing it in. So you can kind of with a gentle hand hold on to those buttons, push them down so you can lift up. See this little mechanism? Lift up that bridge key, slide in, push and twist down, and then line them up. And they'll have kind of like a little 
you'll line up this part of the bridge key to the straight flat part on the upper joint bridge key twist down and if you need to you can just kind of twist and adjust once it's in and you'll want to line them up as best as possible right here see if I can get a close look right in the center of the spatula you line up the upper joint bridge key. Now that we've taken a closer look at how we put it together, I'm just gonna do it kind of quickly, putting them together, lining up my bridge keys like I explained earlier. And we have the bell, lower joint, and upper joint together. After that comes the barrel. Again, I'm going to push in and twist until it's on. And last but not least, I'm gonna get my mouthpiece now, with the mouthpiece, you're going to line up the opening of the mouthpiece to this key right here on the back of the clarinet. So, I'm going to grab, twist, push down, and you can adjust with the barrel or the mouthpiece. And I'm going to line up again right here, the opening of the mouthpiece, all the way down to this key on the back. And there you go. You have it all together. Now, to take it apart, you're going to go in reverse order. So, after you take off your reed and your ligature, you're going to go in backwards order. Take off your mouthpiece, twist, pull up, place that in, barrel, hold on to one of the joints, twist and pull up, barrel in the case. Now for these you got to kind of have to be careful when you're twisting, you don't want to get the bridge keys locked or smashed against each other, so I'm just holding on to the parts that don't have any keys, twist and pull out, place it into the case. And then the last two pieces, lower joint and bell, again, twist and pull out, place into the case. Now that you've taken it apart and you finished playing, it's time to swab and clean it.